Hi and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how you can add a free SSL on your domain. So if you want to use SSL and you want to use a free one, continue watching. If you want to add the SSL, you'll just scroll down and you can add it from here. You can just click on SSL and it is going to take you into the area where you can add the SSL. Or you can also scroll down here into security. Security and you'll also find this SSL. You can just click on it and when you click on it, it's going to give you the option to either buy or use the free SSL. So as you can see, I already have SSL installed on this on this one and it's a free SSL. So what you're going to do if you have more than one domain, you're going to choose the domain right here and let me choose the one that that we added. So what's going to happen is Bluehost is going to add a record on your DNS records and that is going to help them verify the domain. So if you want to use the free SSL, you'll just click on get started. And then you choose an email and then you'll just click on install. Okay. So this is going to get installed on that and that. So you're going to install. And as soon as you click on this, everything is going to happen automatically. And you're going to receive an email telling you that you've purchased SSL and it is at no cost. So as soon as your free SSL has finished installing, it's going to work by default. So you don't have to do anything else. This is all you have to do. The only people that have to do something else, if you're using WordPress and this is an old website that you're adding the SSL on. What I mean is if your WordPress is already running and you're adding the SSL right now, the only next step you're going to have to do is you're going to go into your WordPress website and then you're going to install a plugin called really simple SSL. And as soon as you install that plugin, activate it, it's going to ask you to enable SSL. Once you enable SSL, it's going to redirect everything. It's going to redirect everything from HTTP to HTTPS. But it won't do that for everything. For example, if there are pages where you've added, what are they called? Absolute links. If you've added an absolute link to an image, you're going to have to change it to either HTTPS or you're going to have to remove the protocol and just have the slashes in front of the link to that image or that file. Okay, so that's the only thing you're going to have to do if you use WordPress. Install really simple SSL, activate it, enable SSL, and then if you have places that need to be changed, you have to change them manually. For example, if you have images that you added manually, maybe you're using a background image and you added it manually, you're going to have to do that yourself. You're going to have to change the link for that image. For example, if you have a link in your CSS file and it points to HTTP bizanosa.com slash the image, you're going to change the HTTP to HTTPS or you're going to remove the HTTP so that it just shows HTTP so that it just shows the slashes in front of it. And if you experience an issue whereby if you experience an issue whereby uh, you've installed HTTPS and it's already installed and certain pages are showing you that it's secure while on other pages the, the security is not being shown. That is a green thing. It's not being shown. What you're going to do is you're going to open your the debugger and in the debugger, I think it's network. If you go under network, let's see if it's network. No, security. If you go into security, it's going to show you the link. It's going to show you the links. It's going to show you links that are making that page not be secure. Like if you have links to an image, it's going to show you that link there. And you can just go in and change that particular link so that it can use HTTPS. If it is an image, if it is a CSS file, JavaScript file, a PDF, you're going to change that manually. 
so i think it's security i'm not sure about that just check security uh, i don't think it's network based on what i'm seeing here i don't think it's network it's got to be security and it's going to show you any files that are not secure so here there's nothing much i can do but wait okay as soon as it happens if there's any other steps for you to do you're going to be told but as per now you just chill and wait like if i click on this right now it's going to tell me that i've ordered okay this is what it's what is going to tell you once the ssl has already been installed but it hasn't been installed for the domain that i should have clicked on and i should click on that and if i say show renewal options you you see it tells me that my ssl is not yet installed and you can see it is still at the stage whereby it has just sent an email and then once it has sent this email to me there's nothing i have to do really i just have to sit and wait for the ssl to be activated and if there anything that you if there's anything that you need to do you're going to get the directions in your email but in most cases there's nothing that you you will need to do as soon as it confirms that your dns records are pointing to bluehost and your web server is on bluehost it's going to activate the ssl it's going to install it on your server and your domain is going to use https okay so there's nothing that you have to do unless you're somebody who uses wordpress you just need to install the plugin activate it enable ssl and any links any images any pdfs that you added manually using http you're going to have to remove the https and change it you're going to have to remove the http and change it to https or you're going to remove the protocol altogether and just have the slashes in front of it and that will use the protocol that is available so i hope this video is going to help you enable ssl on your website because because chrome and uh, firefox and a bunch of other even opera nowadays they show this red thing here if your website is not secure it just tells people not secure so just install ssl so that you can get the green check mark there so that's it for this video if you have any questions make sure you let me know